Okay, today on my vlog, uh, we noticed that on the How Jeff and Heather Met, people were actually really interested in that. So I figured I'd do a get to know Jeff and Heather a little better vlog section. So today I was going to talk about, you know, after, you know, we met and we got married, what we did after that. We well, on the road. I went, I went to truck driving school and I got my my license to drive a big truck. Uh, it took like four weeks to go to that school. Uh, we were trying to hurry up and find something to do, you know. Uh, so it took only four weeks for me to get my license and me and Heather hit the road. We went cross country for a while and got to see all kind of stuff. We was on the road for about two years. I'm sorry. <laughs> what the hell was that? I had to sneeze. That was a sneeze. <laughs> that was a sneeze? Did you hold it back or is that just the way it comes out? That's the way it comes out. <laughs> Well, you know, it, it takes a really lot for a married couple, I guess being we were basically newlyweds, it was a little easier on us, but we lived together in a, how big of a truck? Eight by eight foot square box, you might as well say. The cab and the sleeper, that area is about eight by eight foot square. So, 24 right, hours yep. a day. 24 hours a day, and we didn't kill each other. Seven days a week, yep. And, uh, I did threaten to leave a couple times, you know. Yeah, that <laughs> All the way up in freaking we was Philadelphia or no, no, something. No, no, no. We were halfway up the state of Michigan. Oh, Michigan. Yes. We live in central Louisiana. And Heather told me we were, I don't even know what the hell we were fighting over. But anyway, Probably Heather told me. we should eat each other 24-7. <laughs> I don't know what we we're fighting about, but Heather gets mad. We're going down the highway, 65, well, 62 mile an hour as fast as our truck would go. And she's screaming, let me out. And I'm like, I'm not putting you out in the middle of Michigan. What are you going to do? I'll, I'll, I'll walk home. I'm like, baby, it's like 850 to 900 miles. No, it's probably for the net. But anyway, I don't care. I'll call my daddy to come get me. I'm like, it will take him a day and a half to get here. And then, you know, and I wouldn't stop the truck and stuff, so she starts threatening to jump out of the truck, moving down the interstate at 62 miles an hour. Lucky for me, she didn't really attempt that. No. <laughs> that was an empty threat. I think I went back to my little cubby hole. And yeah. She, she always slammed that curtain if we was in a fight. And watched a movie and calmed down. Yeah, if we were in a fight, she would storm to the back, which is only like one step to the yeah. back, you know? And there's a curtain that separates the cab and the, the sleeper, she slammed the curtain, wow, you know, <laughs> to make your point, I guess, right? Yeah. <coughs> but. And then on top of that, there's that always, you know, you're on the truck 24-7. You got to pee sometimes. Yeah, well, I guess women, they had to pee more often than men, huh? Because, like, every two hours, Heather wants to stop to take a piss. Man, that cuts, like, to stop like that and stuff, find a place, a truck stop, this and that, takes you know 20 to 30 minutes you just lost you know we're on a deadline we got to get this shit going you know and Heather wants to stop every two hours so that's kind of cutting into our, our uh, time so so Jeff had this bright idea well also too you got to understand when you got to pee like when you get up in the middle of the night you got to pee you'd have to get dressed completely and walk a hundred yards to the truck stop to go in to pee and then come back out you know it might be snowing out in the middle of the night and whatever so uh you know, guys, we just uh, use uh, Coke bottles, like a two-liter Coke bottle. We keep the empty two-liter Coke bottles, and we have the proper equipment <laughs> to uh, be able to pee in a Coke bottle. Females, not so much proper equipment there. No, to use no. Coke bottle. Did you ever try it like that? I mean, just hold it up there and pee on your hand or whatever? No. No? Okay. Can't say I did. <laughs> anyway, so, you know, that that's a bad thing, too, to have to get up and go to the truck stop bathroom. But the main thing was was cutting into my time. So we were in Kmart or somewhere one day. And, oh, it was in a big ass truck stop. No, we were in Kmart or a place like that. But anyway, the thing was they had a square or a rectangular funnel with a hole that come down. It was small enough to fit in that Coke bottle. I'm like, hmm, this this would work. This would definitely start saving me some time. Plus, Heather wouldn't have to get up and. I wouldn't have to escort her into the damn truck stop. Yeah, because I ain't walking thing. across no truck stop by no. myself. So uh, I, told, I told her the idea, and she agreed to try it. So we took the funnel, and it was the greatest thing. Heather could use the Coke bottles like me. Yay! <laughs> I felt like a real man. <laughs> <laughs> but there was this one incident, probably one of the 
sometimes she got the maddest at me on the oh, road. Oh, no. It I wasn't hate my fault. Tell this story. Well, this is a great this story. This is not a good story. This is a great story. And he has to tell everybody the story. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. It's not fun on my part. It's funny though. Okay, look. Okay, here's the deal. We're moving down the interstate or whatever down the road, you know. And Heather's got to use the funnel. It's best if I keep the truck pretty steady because she's got to stand up in the back to use the funnel in the coke bottle. So you know, she would always warn me that I'm going to the back to use the bathroom. Okay, okay, go ahead. I got it. We were in. Uh, we were going around the outer loop of uh, San Antonio, Texas. It's kind of healy through there. And uh, the inter I mean, I think the was it yeah, it was San Antonio. It was North nope, San Antonio, Texas. So we're doing like 65 or so, and we're going around the outer loop out there. Heather goes into the bathroom or the sleeper. And the bathroom shuts the door, you know. <laughs> the bathroom. <laughs> and, it was uh, bathroom, uh, kitchen, sleep, uh, sleeper slash blah blah blah. But anyway, so. Uh, uh, we're going in the, the interstate there, the loop, and uh, I come over a hill, and there obviously was an accident or something. It's dead stop traffic, and I'm doing 65, and Heather is in the sleeper with the funnel in the bottle, standing up. I slam on the brakes, and I throw my arm out, because I knew she was coming through that curtain, you know. Hit the brakes course, here comes Heather. Piss bottle, the, the funnel, everything, tent pants down around her ankles, blam, into the floor, <laughs> screaming and hollering, you know, what the hell, you know, what do you want me to do? You want me to run over the cars? You want me to run off of the ditch? Run off of the ditch and wreck or what? You know, so, <laughs> that was the one bad incident we had uh, with uh, Heather's uh, bathroom, <clears throat> portable toilet or whatever you want to call it.